That's a mighty fine house right there, folks. And I'm going to show you how to get the government to give you money to buy it and turn it into an Airbnb rental. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I am here to help you help you invest in real estate. Now, what we're doing today, folks, is we're going to do some beautiful, brand new construction, Airbnb investing, and we're going to get the government to pay for it, right? And who I'm working with today is my man, Jose. Jose, you're an investor from Florida. You come to Cleveland because we got tax incentives, good real estate deals, cash flow, dog, right? Where else can you get the government to kick in a whole bunch of money? to buy something this nice. Let's jump in to how this deal's going to work, how the money the government's going to give you how, is going to work out, like how the whole thing happens, right? Like it's like, oh, the government's giving me money. But how does that happen, right? So, Jose, how are we going to put this whole thing together and work out this deal when you're in Florida and the property's in Cleveland? Let's go. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now, let's figure this out, right? From the picture, you can see it's a beautiful, nice house, right? Let's... Just cruise these photos real quick. Very, very nice, right? Everything on this screams luxury. The thing looks friggin' beautiful. Love that quartz backsplash, right? This is a badass house, dude. White on white with the light wood floors. This thing is friggin' banging, right? Just got built, okay? Just got built in one of the most popular gentrifying neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? When people talk about the resurgence of the Cleveland market. They talk about a few specific neighborhoods because things like this are happening, okay? This particular house, folks, this particular house is right between two of them, the Detroit Shore Way and Ohio City. Now, the reason for all this gentrification is because there's government incentives, right? We... In the city of Cleveland, have very old housing stock. You don't see housing stock this old on, like, the West Coast or in Florida or things like that, right? This is a neighborhood of 100-and-something-year-old houses. And the reason this is one of the top neighborhoods, the most gentrified neighborhoods, is because it's proximity to the lake and downtown Cleveland, okay? All right? You got the lake, you got downtown Cleveland, right? These are the hot spots. Trema, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, right? Uh, and then Detroit Shoreway is like Gordon Square, by the way. Gordon Square, Detroit Shoreway, Ohio City. We're right smack dab in the middle, okay? These are the hot neighborhoods, right? And what is going on is you have the city of Cleveland who's investing with investors, investors like you, to get these neighborhoods looking good, right? 100, 100 125-year-old houses are in this neighborhood, right? What they're doing is they're paying 15-year tax abatements, okay? 15-year tax abatements for new construction, right? You take the tax rate in Cleveland. It's like 2.79%, right? So for every $100,000 of value, you're paying almost 3K, right? So for this property, let's call it $3,000 per 100, right? So that's four. That'd be like 12 grand. $12,000 a year, okay, in taxes that you don't got to pay, okay? That would be... 12,000 times 15, that'd be the government paying you $180,000 to buy this banging house. And unlike, unlike most government housing incentives, it does not matter if you live there or not. We as investors can buy these for investment properties and turn these in to Airbnb rentals, which is making a killing in the Cleveland market for investors, right? When you get premium location, premium construction like this it's awesome right 
And the cool thing uh, with these neighborhoods, right, is I believe the uh, <coughs> uh, appreciation is just going to continue because they're getting rid of all the super old houses, right? Like this one, uh, this was originally like a 100-something-year-old house, and they tore everything down. It looks like they uh, went with, like, the basement. And then just built it all back up, right? So I think you got the old basement. But everything they did uh, was done to new construction green housing standards. That's the thing with this tax abatement, by the way, folks. Uh, the work has to be done to green housing standards. What that means is it's more energy efficient, which guess what? We're investors. We're renting the house to Airbnb guests. We're paying the utilities. So that lowers our costs, right? So beautiful home. Nice neighborhood, a neighborhood where the city is incentivized to see you succeed because they want to get rid of old housing and bring in new, to beautiful new housing like this one, right? So as far as the numbers go, should be able to rent this house out for approximately three seventy-five a night on average, right? It's going to vary, right? Of course, it'll be lower in the winter, higher in the summer, things of that nature. And we ain't going to rent it every day, folks. You ain't actually going to get no $11,000 a month because you got to factor in vacancy, almost 40%, right? So after you factor that in, along with all your fixed and variable expenses, right? Paying my team, paying Holton Wise to handle your property management, right? That's what's great. It don't matter where you live, right? Just like it's cool that the government's paying this $180,000 tax abatement to us uh, and we're investors, we could take advantage of that. You also don't have to be a Cleveland resident or an Ohio resident, right? You can live wherever you want and take advantage of this because the city's incentivized to get rid of old housing stock and replace it with fresh new housing stock, and they're going to pay you to the tune of $180K, right? So after I, my team handles everything, right? We got $200 million dollars in investment property sales in this market. Long story short, we know what the hell we're doing, folks. You can rest easy when you got the biggest company of its type handling the day-to-day -day operations, handling the hosting, handling everything. You do nothing, right? So when it's all said and done, I believe this investment should make you just under 5K a month or under 60K a year. Now, as far as price goes, they have it listed at 409000 I think we can get a little... A little bit better of a price for you, right? 4099 is what they have. I want to try to pick it up for 395 And then, of course, we're going to need to furnish it so we can put some Airbnb guests in there, right? So all told, your investment's 415 FYI, that twenty five k you don't have to come up with that cash. Holton Wise does take credit cards uh, for renovations and furnishings, right? So the total investment's 415 You only need 123 and 3 quarters out of your pocket. Minus another twenty-five, you really only need ninety-eight thousand in cash. You could do twenty-five, float that on your credit card. So really, you only need about ninety-eight k to do the deal. But let's just say one hundred twenty-three upfront funds, because you can't just let that credit card money ride, or you're paying like a twenty-nine percent APR. That'd be bad shit crazy, wouldn't it? We'll get the bank to kick in uh, two hundred ninety-six thousand. At a much more reasonable APR. By the way, investors, if you guys need loans, I got them. Hit my team up for an email. I'll get those to you. I project this sucker to kick out approximately a 34% cash on cash return, right? And that's not accounting for appreciation, which, full disclosure, Cleveland is not an appreciation market, right? We get a lot of people at Holton Wise that come to us from, like, Florida, California, right? These are your appreciation markets, but people have trouble finding cash flow positive properties in those markets, and they have trouble finding affordable properties in those markets, right? So those are the appreciation markets. Cleveland, not known for appreciation. It's not a Sun Belt city. It's not the West Coast. It's Rust Belt. However, there are certain pockets, right, that typically see higher appreciation. There are certain economic factors at play, right? I can't guarantee you you'll get appreciation, and I sure as hell am not telling you come to Cleveland for appreciation-based investing. No. If you're really focused on appreciation, California, Florida, those are great bets. Cleveland is cash flow. However, in my opinion, all signs are pointing to this neighborhood having the most appreciation when you factor things in where we're seeing a ton of gentrification and a ton of money being thrown at investors like you 
to make neighborhoods like this have a bunch of $400,000 new houses as opposed to what we see right now is like a mix of new houses and really, really old houses. What's this neighborhood going to look like when all the houses are new and all those 100-year-old houses are gone because the city's paying freaking investors from around the world 180 k a pop to get rid of them? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.